Hey Pisces, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate you. This is going to be your general weekly reading. Any information you all need, you can find it down in the description box. I have personals open right now up until October 21st. You could also check me out on Patreon where I post additional content for each sign. So Pisces, let's go ahead and get on into it for you here. We're going to look at your air energy, then we're going to move on to your earth, your water, and then your fire, and we'll be clarifying all of that. So let's look here for you, Pisces, and see what we're getting, okay? Um, who had this? I want to say it was Capricorn who also had the Four of Pentacles show up for their thoughts. So you may want to uh, check out that reading here, okay? Um, especially if you have some Capricorn in your chart or are connected with one in some way. Good. This is looking good so far, you guys. All right. You don't seem to feel that way, though. <laughs> Uh, you have the hangman showing up for how you how you're feeling. So you could be feeling a little bit track, tracked. Uh, that's weird. Um, trapped. You know, it, it feels like you you may be feeling as if there's something like that's on a loop here, or you're on a loop, like you're doing the same things over and over again. Could be something like that. All right, but um, you know, let's go ahead and start up here from the beginning. You've got the four of pentacles, sun and Capricorn energy. So you could be you know a Capricorn sun with some Pisces placements watching this, um, but you don't have to be. You know, the four of pentacles though. I feel like you are staying. Standing firm, you know, when it comes to what it is that you want or what it is that you, you know, this this could be like your standards or something of that nature here. It's like what you'll tolerate, what you deserve, what you accept, what you want. Like you are holding tightly to that, all right? You're not willing to give that up. And I feel like because of that, the universe is going to give you exactly what it is that you want. You've got the Nine of Cups right here showing up for your communication. Somebody could have Jupiter and Pisces here. Let's look at this. What's going on for Pisces? Nine of Wands, two nines. Could have something to do with your environment here. Could have something to do with a home, all right? Somebody could have their moon in Sagittarius. But that is a card of persistence, and I think that's exactly what's going on in the Four of Pentacles. It's like in the headspace, you're like, I'm not going to back down from this. This is what I want. This is how I want things to go, how I want things to be, and I'm not going to have them any other way. What else is going on with this air energy here? You got the uh, king of pentacles in the reverse position. So it's like, I feel like you guys are in a space where someone is relinquishing control, all right? Um, they're, it's like they're throwing in the towel in a situation. Somebody's been like going head to head with you is how that feels to me here because the nine of wands is like wounded warrior energy. So it's like somebody is giving up on trying to get you to back down from what it is that you want in a situation. Um, you have the eight of wands showing up, Mercury in Sagittarius for what it is that you need to ground. So some of you, there's an energy here of just moving too quickly, all right? Moving too quickly with something, or um, it's kind of this energy of like word vomit here. We'll see what's going on with that. But you have the emperor as well, showing up for your stability. So money looks good, you know? Um, let's see what's happening here. What else is happening here? I also feel like this persistence, like this persistent energy that you're in could be um, like surrounding work and money, your stability. It's like you're not going to give up on something here until you get to where you want to be, like financially speaking. It's happening here. Some of you could be trying to build a business with the emperor showing up. What's going on with this energy? The fool taking a leap of faith on something new. Um, this can also represent like divine guidance, okay? Because of the sun card or the sun card. I always say the sun card when I'm talking about the symbol in the card. But the sun is in the corner of that card, which to me talks about your guides, your angels lighting the way for you, all right? What else is happening? And you know, the fool is somebody who takes risks. And like I said, with the eight of wands, there's this energy of like needing to slow down. And for some of you, I just feel that this is so you don't experience burnout. For others of you, I feel like this is um, regarding like communication, okay? the way that you're communicating with people here what else is happening you just want to be careful with that because the emperor is showing up i feel like things could get tense or aggressive yeah you've got the five of swords maybe even a little petty but i do feel that for others of you where you're taking a leap of faith on like a business trying to build something for example i feel like there is growth and development here even if you don't see it even if you're feeling like you're stuck it's just that things aren't moving as quickly as you would like them to move here pisces so that's why i think that you're feeling stuck things are still moving you're still progressing and you're doing great you got the hangman showing up for how you're feeling so again like feeling kind of stuck on a loop or feeling this energy of of burnout you know there's potential for burnout here like i said with the eight of wands and the emperor like needing to slow down 
Um, you got the Queen of Swords for what your intuition is trying to tell you. Um, so yeah, I feel like there's really need to be honest with yourself about that. And I did have the Knight of Cups flip over. I don't know where he went, but um, I feel like this is in regards to chasing a dream or a vision. For some of you, it's chasing love. It's like you feel like something is stuck here, Pisces. It could be with another Pisces or with a Libra. What else is going on here with this individual? This Queen of Swords feels like a person to me. And this could just be an energy that you're in, just seeking truth, seeking clarity, not willing to back down. I just feel you in this very assertive energy, Pisces. The Chariot could be a Cancer for those of you where this is a love situation as well. And then you have the Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, just feeling like things are not growing in the way that you would like them to, or maybe not how they were in the beginning. Some of you, it's like things were growing a little bit more in the beginning stages of something here, and now you're feeling like they're slowing down for you with the Seven of Pentacles. Uh, things are going to speed up. They are going to progress. Some of you, there's like a need to have a new approach here with the Chariot, like steer it in a slightly different direction is how that feels to me. Um, but for others of you, like this is a change in routine. I think that's why where the Chariot needs to be steered in a different direction here it's a change in routine or direction i just saw 555 on the camera as i was saying that okay um and for those of you where you're waiting on some kind of clarity you are going to receive that it's going to come to you you know when you least expect it with the seven of pentacles they're wanting you to stop waiting on that okay stop waiting on that some of you you already have this truth and this clarity you're just wanting a different answer from another person here. You got the Ace of Swords showing up for what you are creating. And then you have the Page of Pentacles showing up for what you are destroying. So let's look at this. What's happening with these energies right here? Clarify fire for Pisces. What's going on with Pisces in their fire energy here, please? I'm going to shuffle one more time. Pisces in their fire energy. Ten of Cups, good. And then the Eight of Cups right here. Some of you guys have been in this space where you've been kind of going back to the drawing board in a situation. For those of you where this is love, like going back to the same person over and over again, trying to fix things with this individual. Um, I feel like that's what's happening because the Page of Pentacles is what you're destroying. This is something that um, sets the trend for how things are going to play out long term in terms of like stability and things of that nature. So for those of you where you're like trying to build a business or you're trying to grow your finances in some way, shape or form, you're like, maybe that worked in the beginning, but something else has to work now, you know? Know? And I think that's the same thing for those of you in a love situation where it's like, I was in alignment with that at one point in time, but now it's time to move on to something here. It could be an Aquarius or a Virgo involved here for some of you, but the Ten of Cups, it's like you're going to have what it is that you wish for. And I think that's what's going on in the Nine of Cups up here in your communication as well. It's like, this this is a card of wish fulfillment, getting what it is that you wish for. Some of you, this is support that you're receiving here, recognition that you're receiving, all right? So they're saying that that's going to come in. You're just, you're just going to have to be patient here. And some of you trying a new approach like what you've been doing um so far has stopped working it's like what once worked is not working anymore and again for some of you that's a connection for others of you this could be um like building a business like i said like this energy of going back to the drawing board here they're wanting you to find a new approach all right and like I said, for some of you, you're looking for some kind of clarity or some kind of truth. And they're saying, hey, you already have that. There's completion here already. So um, that's what I'm getting for you, Pisces. I hope that this was helpful. I want to thank you all so much for watching and supporting me. Uh, be sure to watch out for your other signs and enjoy your week. Bye.